Hello everyone, my name is Mark Novotarsky. I'm the producer of the documentary Battles, Bouts and Brawls, the story of professional wrestling in Detroit and the surrounding areas, yesterday, today, and beyond. To give a little background on me, I'm a founding member of Cable News Network of CNN's Detroit Bureau. That goes back to 1982. I've also produced several other documentaries, among them one that was broadcast on PBS and was awarded Broadcast Telly Award, the story of the world's floating zip code, the J.W. Westcott, which has been on the Detroit River for over 138 years. Beside that program, I've also produced a documentary on old school wrestling legend, The Sheik. The Sheik, wrestling's greatest villain. And it's because of the response from that particular documentary is why I'm talking to you right now. Over the past five decades, Detroit has been one of the hubs of professional wrestling. And now, while there's still time to get first-hand accounts that can be told, I'm going to be telling the story of this great professional wrestling area. People are in this, promoters, wrestlers, people, people in the back, in the backstage, people putting together the rings. Anybody that was anybody in the business is in this program. Dr. Jerry Graham Jr., Malcolm Monroe II, Chris Carter, The Rude Boy, Big Jim Lancaster, Ox Baker, the list goes on, but these are only a few of the people that are in this program. But before I start to bore you, see what writer, historian, and professional wrestling manager, Supermouth Dave Drayson, let him tell you a little bit about this program. Hi wrestling fans, Dave Drayson Brzezinski here. This is some of the biggest news to hit the state of Michigan, the city of Detroit, in a long time. A documentary about the history of wrestling in this great state. You're going to see the wrestlers, hear about the promoters, the announcers, the fans, the arenas, all the characters who worked in big time wrestling, WWA, NWA, Michigan Championship Wrestling, Midwest Championship Wrestling, XICW, all the independent promotions, and all the renegade promotions. You're going to learn about all the gimmicks. You're going to experience tons of matches. You're going to see all the photographs, clippings, everything that has to do about professional wrestling in this great state. You're going to hear the interviews from the guys who lived it, worked it, you're going to hear it from the wrestlers, the historians, and the fans. If you're age 8 to 80, I don't care. Whatever pulled you in to watch wrestling when you were a kid or as old as you may be, you are going to love this film. We dug to the deepest depths of our archival history to bring this all to you. You're going to want to sell your soul to own this film. You're going to want to cash in your lottery ticket of professional wrestling to own this film. It's coming soon. And when it does, you're going to say these three words. Woo! Mercy Daddy! Supermouth, thank you for that world of wisdom of information. Now, folks, you're going to see quite a bit in this program. You're going to see the Sheik's promotion. You'll see before the Sheik's promotion. You'll see XICW, you'll see Midwest Championship Wrestling, you'll see wrestling from throughout the state, throughout the Midwest, any number of things, programs, advertisements, actual footage of these bouts, interviews. You'll see the wrestlers Rhino, Shane Douglas, manager Truth Martini, any number of participants from decades ago right up to today. But now, now comes to why I'm speaking to you. Right now, the production is in post-production. We're putting it together. 
And that, just as anything is today, that's a costly affair. We've traveled from one end of the country to the other, from New York to Los Angeles, and a few places in between, to show the, the scope of what professional wrestling was and is here. This is why I ask you out there for your kindness, for your consideration, for you to be actually a part of professional wrestling history. And I ask for your contributions to this project. They are essential, they are imperative. And as you look at the various items that I have as a thank you for your kindness, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is going to be one heck of a project, folks. But it's all about finishing it and doing it properly. So I do ask for your help and your consideration. And uh, you won't have to sign your soul away or whatever terminology uh, Supermouth said. Check back occasionally. I'll be having updates. But I will thank you for your kindness and your contributions. I'm Mark Novotarski, and I look forward to seeing you.